Y'all niggas on, man. Your day going, get up in this room with a plan, and come and chop it up with your boy, King Vicious Productions. Back in this thing to hit you with a video. Hey man, what the hell's going on? I know you're feeling my shirt, you're feeling my money, power, respect shirt. If that's all it's about, money, power, and respect. Now, listen here, I know that you guys have went through things just like I've been through things and I already know that you have women that are going through your cell phones going through your social media accounts going through your tablets you know and you want to know the reason why she's doing that you know ain't nobody just doing that snooping up on you if they ain't got a couple of irons in the fire if you know what I mean you know now a lot of the times that women do these things, uh, snooping through your phone, snooping through your personal effects, um, it's because she got some, you know, Dirty Diana going on. Underneath the uh, surface there. She, she, she doing something that is untrustworthy and that she knows you will not like. So what she's trying to do is she's trying to cut you off. She's trying to make sure that you are now going to justify her disloyalty. Okay? You are now going to justify her disloyalty and how she tries to prove this and what she starts to do in these instances is she will start going through your personal private messages and social media accounts and making sure that she tries to find any dirt even if it isn't dirt even if it isn't something that is incriminating she's gonna flip it and try to make it incriminating. If it's not any sexual uh, messages or anything, she's going to start asking, well, why are you talking to her? You're trying to have sex with her or you like her or she likes you. Therefore, you should cut all communications with this person. Yet, if you go and look into her phone, you will see multiple dudes, multiple guys, that like her, that wants to have sex with her, and she will be talking about their relationships, she will be talking about past relationships, she will be talking about uh, previous things that they did together. And that is the reason why these women nowadays are non-trustworthy. That's why Chris Brown made that song. These hoes ain't loyal. Broke nigga bitch. I can make a broke bitch rich. But I don't fuck a broke bitch. These hoes ain't loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. Because, hey, Chris Brown know just like every other man should know. These women that are not virgins and they like to ride the cock carousel, they don't mind. Being with Chad, Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, and then they get you a good guy. Alright, try it, pussy. Alright. Be a nice guy. You don't call me a pussy. Alright. You something nice. And yet they still wanna, you know, they still wanna Chad and Tyrone, but they just know that. Chad and Tyrone, they ain't gonna be unapologetic about they cheating. Until you're married, or until you guys have some sort of uh, committed uh, talk or conversation, um, there's no such thing as cheat. okay? When you guys make, make a commitment to each other, and you say that you're gonna forsake everyone else, that's when you have cheating. A lot of people want the commitment without having the conversation.
See, a commitment always going to have a conversation because you have to express what you want. As a man, as a woman, you need to always express if you want to be more to this person, you want to be committed to this person, then you need to make sure that they are clear and aware that that's your intentions. Because if that's not their intentions, then you're going to have a frustrated relationship and it's going to end in some kind of turmoil. Okay? So, you know, and, and uh, another thing, women, trust and believe when you go going through these guys' phones and you find whatever information that you find, don't just take the information and then just sit back on the information so you can go and do whatever you want to do and then have justification in your mind that, oh, because I seen that you were talking to this girl, I went on a date with this guy. Because all that's going to do is just get you fucked up. You dig? So, like, don't think you slick either. I know a lot of women lie about going through their dude's phones, going through their dude's um, personal effects. Look, I know when somebody's been on my phone. See, if you can tell, and this is how I used to catch my ex. And she don't even know that I used to catch her, but I used to know exactly what she used to be talking about when she used to ask me those goofy ass questions about things in my phone. And I would say, Where, where'd you get that from? Like, wh where's this coming from? And she would be like, I oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. I just know, just know I know. Okay, well, just know I know that you know what you think you know. Hey, go ahead and know it, but I already know that you've seen my text message. So, on your phone, bro. You know, there's like, you know, this little shine to it. You see it? You see it's like a shine to it. Like, you can't see it when the phone is on or whatever. So, you can't see it when the phone's on, but when it's off, it has a little shine to it. You can see the fingerprints, can't you? You can see the fingerprints. And I could tell when my ex used to get on my phone, because you see how big my fingerprints are? Look at my fingerprints. These are my fingerprint this is how my fingerprints would normally uh, interact with the screen but when I would know know or notice that my phone would be in a different place or notice that my phone uh, had been restarted or if I noticed that apps had been closed that I know that was supposed to be open I would start to look at the fingerprints and you could tell now you see these big fingerprints because that's my hand that's my big big hand but all of a sudden there would be like little small little fingerprints you see the newest fingerprints show up and you can see that there is somebody else besides my big fingerprints and how I normally would touch the screen it will all of a sudden be little small fingerprints and small things and then I would be like oh Okay. And then I would just go and look back at the text messages um, and see if I had anything incriminating, which it wasn't because I didn't cheat on a girl. And if we were in a relationship and we're living together, that doesn't make any sense. Just to let y'all know, man, you got to be one step ahead of these females at all times because they will try to use this as a justification to their fuckery. And trust me, they got some fuckery going on. If you go ahead and grab her phone, she's going to act like World War III just enacted. And also, women have a lot of secret apps. Like, man, I knew a chick that had, uh, besides having a lock on her phone, she had another secret app where she would hide all her, uh, all her pictures. All her pictures, all her text messages, anything that she don't want anyone to see it was like on a double security double security so trust me bro don't, don't ever don't ever let these females think that you are just too slow for the game that's how they start to think that they can just run over you and also when i used to ask her like yo why are you going through my phone like she would lie directly to my face and just be like i didn't go through your phone 
I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go through your phone. But then years later, after we broke up, she admitted, yeah, I used to go through your phone. I already knew. So, trust me and believe this, guys. If you leave a woman at your house and it's just your place, or even if y'all just moved in together, trust and believe one thing. She's going through your property. She's going through your drawers. She's going through your tablet. She's going through your computer. She's going through anything that has any kind of security or privacy about it because she wants to be able to justify her fuckery. And that's what I think I'm going to name this video. I didn't even know a name for the video, but I'm just going to name it that. Why women want to justify their fuckery. Because that's exactly what it be. Trust me, if she's doing good by you, she's being loyal to you, she would not think in that way, especially if you show her with your actions that you are all about her. She will not think in that way. So, that's just one quick word from your partner, King V. If you like the content or if you like the video, definitely drop me a comment. Or at least leave me a, a thumbs up. They're free. I'm giving them out today. You don't have to pay anything for them. You go up, you know, you look below the video. It's a like a thumbs, like a thumbs like this. And it, it, it points upwards. And they're free. I'm, I'm giving them out. I'm giving them out. You can, you can press it. I'm not going to charge you nothing. I'm not going to charge you not a cent. Okay? So help your boy out. Check out the video. Check out some past videos. And uh, hey, if you have any questions or any kind of comments that you want to uh, let me know, then go ahead and drop it below. Other than that, I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace. In fact, in my practice, more women cheat than men. Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's say that one more time. Because... I was not ready for that. <laughs> well, I, I know this that. is a little off topic, no, but it no, is. No, 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 no. We'll go right. We'll go okay. down this road. It is. It is absolutely true. Huh. And so the from your, difference. Your practice, you've experienced more women cheating. Than yes, men. and it's very different. Men will cheat um, and still love their wife. In fact, fifty-eight percent of them do. If a woman cheats, she usually is. No not longer. in love with her partner. She, in fact, I think it's, I think the report was something like 32% of women who cheated still love their partner. It is more rare. Wow. So, um, and when men cheat, because it's again a masculine trait and it's thought to be masculine, they are more likely to get caught.